Hey everybody, welcome back to another Hornby Mega Bash video. Now I'm going to begin the process of kind of completely changing this toy train. Now I have here the Lima Junior, which is pretty well detailed for a toy train. Um, had Hornby kept their version something like this then maybe some LEDs in a windscreen would have been fine but as it stands this although it looks nice it looks nice for a toy but it's very very poorly produced I wouldn't call this detail these are just shapes really so really and truthfully I just need to go at this and change it completely so let's do it then. In order to come up with something new, I decided to get rid of the windows and the door on this one. Also, these uh, ventilators here, I don't like the way they look. And I started to do something with the inside of the windscreen that I've cut out. I'm using Milliput, the ordinary standard for this, and I'll be using the super fine white for any fine detail. Probably when it comes to finishing the lights and things like that. Now there's a feature along here, this kind of ridge, which I thought at first was quite good, it's just something that Hornby's done to try to make it more interesting but it has a very kind of toyish look to it but what I've worked out is that this isn't a ridge um, there's a gap from here to here where this piece here has been cut out, it's been carved out in the mould. So what I need to do is using my milliput fill this area completely. Now there's a straight kind of edge that runs along there. It's slightly squared. So I should be able to come from there and there and smooth that completely into there. It's not something I planned on doing but uh, it will make it better. So I'll give that a go. So I start by adding enough milliput to fill the space that I need filled and then I use a wet popsicle stick to run the shape in to where I need. Being careful to make sure I leave this door detail clear because I want to keep that. Okay we've had around seven or eight hours now. I've done this before I went to work this morning and now that is solid and ready to be sanded down. So the sanding down has begun. I'm using uh, 180 grit wet and dry sandpaper and I'll, from now on I'll use the 320 and then I've got a 400 for the last bit. But now I've got my uh, popsicle stick square here and what I can do is I can put that, let me see if you can, can you see right here in the bottom corner when I put that on there, can you see that gap through there, you can see the black of my glove, there's a gap there. Now this point here and this point here are the two references, that must be uh, a dead straight line all the way through right the way around to here because there's a there's a sharp edge here so there they are 
filled and rubbed down. You can see now the shape that's been carved out to give that kind of ridge which is gone. Now from let's say the door back there's no more that I can do with regards to get, filler. So. A spray on that now. I'm going to spray the whole thing. I'm going to spray this and this as well just so I can see what I've got because at the moment with all the the red and the white it's hard to tell what, what it's what it's going to look like so I'll give it a spray now and I'll see how it comes out I've just marked out some positions on here just to find the center where I've been messing around and cutting the windscreen it's difficult to know the center so I've had to measure that carefully and this is the new shape for the windscreen section. That will not be the entire windscreen, but this is going to be the, the section where the windscreen goes. I've machined out the basic shape of the windscreen unit. I need to add some more milliput into this section here where these two lines are, just to bring the bodywork down further. I've taken out as much as I can with the machine um, but it's a bit aggressive and I don't want to overdo it so I'm going to take the rest of it up with, uh, with files and sandpaper now once I've done that I need to cut through this area here on both sides this is going to come in here um, the idea is that the windscreen will sit at not at this angle, the windscreen will be more at um, this angle and then this section here will be bodywork coming out kind of horizontal and then the whole nose will come from there and come out to about there so I'm going to bring the nose out further now because I've got a cut into this and it's quite thin I'm going to be putting more milliput on the inside. I'll be lining the inside of this so that as I machine into this to get the shape that I want then the milliput is there on the other side to take up the shape rather than you know cutting through and then trying to fill it afterwards. I also need to cut this down further. So the milliput is all in on this one the pieces for the window, the pieces, the piece for the bodywork there and the inside pieces some bits there where I have some fine detail to do the panel line here, that's going but also I've decided to do away, there was some, some grills there and don't know what this small protrusion was all about, something from the original um, I'm going to sand away these two panels here because let me see where they are, they're, they're, they're not really doing anything they're just spawning it. So I'm doing away with these grills and that and of course now I've got the RC I don't need these two holes. Now what I've done because they're two square level holes I've taken a drill and I've just roughed them up and made them more irregular that way when I fill it and sand it I can blend it in well if it's too dead square then when I sand it down there'll be the impression of two squares there that, that would be almost impossible to get rid of these lines have gone these have all gone now the windows have all gone the back doors have gone what I did with this is I used a very sharp sculpting tool to gouge the the lines out deeper because they're quite shallow on this model and uh, I, I want them to be deep. Now I haven't started the front end on this one but I have some uh, milliput mixed up so I thought I would make a start and just do all of these bits.